I want to tell you why I love reading. So last night I was in the mood to read something great. I wanted to read the best, the best thing that I could read. And I didn't want to pick up a long novel. I didn't want to read a great plot. I didn't want interesting characters. I didn't want anything historical. I don't want to learn anything. I just want to read something that's undeniably beautiful just for the sake of the language. And my mind often does turn to poetry, which I um, re really do love reading a lot of uh, different poets. Some of my favorite writers are poets. But what I had in mind was French decadence. So I picked up one of my all-time favorite books, Paris Spleen by Charles Baudelaire. And I did that favorites uh, book tag, and I really uh, went back and forth as to whether or not to put them on the list. Ultimately, the reason I didn't is that it's this slim book that represents all of my admiration for the writer. Um, and so I, the, the list I was putting together was supposed, to, I felt to be more of a representative body of work instead of just one single thing. Anyway, my favorite, one of my favorite genres or subgenres is the French decadent literary movement. And there's so many great writers. And I grabbed a couple just to show you. Uh, Baudelaire obviously has the Flowers of Evil, um, but there's Mal there's uh, uh, Mallarmé, uh, Paul Verlaine, Valerie, Ray, um, you, arguably some of the novels by Zola, um, Hausman Against Nature, uh, but he has a handful of terrific, dark and twisted, evil books like The Oblate and The Cathedral, uh, The Damned. The handful of them that are great. Um, Gerard de Nerville, uh, Theophile Gautier, one of my favorite novels, Mademoiselle de Maupin. Uh, and then there's Rimbaud. Um, and then Flaubert has a handful, his two, what I would consider decadent novels, uh, The Temptation of St. Anthony and Salambo. Pretty cover. These are all some of my favorite writers uh, and without going into it a lot of these are some of my favorite books and at the top of the heap above them all without question is this slim little book and it does everything that I want a great book to do I'll, I'll I guess explain that Baudelaire uh, described this book as a, a serpent eating its own tail. And um, for all of the illusions, what he, what he meant by that, for one, is that it has no beginning or end. This is a collection of prose poems. And as a result, they're all one page two pages, two and a half pages long, and you can open it up at any point and start reading it, and um, you're not lost. Each each story is completely self-contained, but the, the entire book still has a feeling of cohesion. And he tells, um, through these episodes and small vignettes, all sorts of aspects of human nature and um, human emotion, motivation, um, deep dark thoughts about mortality. It can be a very cruel book, also at points tender, beautiful, lovely. It's everything that I want in a book. Um, and. It's also one of the best examples of me appreciating the term uh, poetry in prose. Um, 
more often than not, when I hear that a book is poetic, it has poetic language, as in a novel, a novel was, has poetic language, my first thought is that it's going to be garbage, usually. Um, I don't really want poetic language in a novel, for me. Um, this is the kind of book that makes me question my first assumptions. When, when you read something that's so purple, and stylish, and extravagant, perfect, it can be excessive and then just land on perfect words. Uh, it's, a, it's a book that I have so much admiration for. Um, and I'll read uh, just one. Maybe this probably isn't the best representation of the book, but I like it. It's the, the dog and the scent bottle. Come here, my dear, good, beautiful doggy, and smell this excellent perfume which comes from the best perfumer of Paris. And the dog, wagging his tail, which I believe is, the, is that poor creature's way of laughing and smiling came up and put his curious nose on the uncorked bottle. Then, suddenly, he backed away in terror, barking at me reproachfully. Ah, miserable dog, if I had offered you a package of excrement, you would have sniffed, it, sniffed at it with delight and perhaps gobbled it up. In this you resemble the public, which should never be offered delicate perfumes that infuriate them but only carefully selected garbage. I love it. Like, it can be far-flung, excessive, like I said, but then to land on a phrase, carefully selected garbage, it sums up so much. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed picking this up. Um, <clears throat> Also, I had, I had I've reread this many times, but it's probably probably been a few years, and to have the same emotions and visceral reactions just sweep over me like a whirlwind um, is so satisfying. It ha I haven't aged out of it. The, the the book for my life and my own development just grows with me and stays with me, which is unlike. Um, Maybe just as an example, Illuminations by Rimbaud, which knocked my socks off when I was maybe in my early 20s and um, has become significantly less impressive to read in my early 30s. Um, I, I, I feel like Paris Spleen by Baudelaire is going to be one of my longest, dearest friends. Uh, I absolutely love reading this book. Um, so, I would probably recommend it. Anyway, uh, that's it. Leave a comment if you would like, and thank you for watching.